Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Dead Cells. Now, we'll take the shield this time. What the heck? You can hold it. Parry with it. We'll see how it works. Last time, well, we got pretty darn close, didn't we? Yes, we did. Didn't get quite close enough. But I'd say it was a pretty exciting run. I hope it kept you all on your toes, so to speak. If you know what I mean. I mean, it's a pretty easy saying, so I... Assume you all know what I mean. Anyway, so what's our strategy this time? Other than I'm I'm wanting to go a little bit fast this time. I want to see if I can get one at least as far as a time door goes. Maybe not get all of them, but, you know, slap a couple of them up on me. I can sell this baguette since I'm not going to use it. Hoping to, There it is. I was going to say, I'm hoping to run into a scroll of power. Let's get brutality this time. Let's learn how to hit a little bit harder. Maybe that'll work out for us. Yeah, let's grab another scroll of power for 1650. Heck yeah. That's an easy choice. Let's see what we have going on over to the right. So if I want to hit the first time door, I have to be there in two minutes. Uh, let's see. We got a cudgel. We got a nutcracker, which is pretty great. It actually has lower DPS, though. Shoots an arrow upward. It's pretty great. Pushes enemies back and interrupts their attacks. Additional damage if they hit a wall. Also burns people. Yeah, give me burning feet. I'm curious to see how that works out. Let's see what we can get over here. We've got two minutes to get to the first spot. Uh, whoa, a legendary wolf trap that shoots a volley of arrows and spreads inflammable oil and makes victims emit a toxic cloud. Wow, that's really, really good. All right, same up against the wall here. I'm liking that. Little. A little bit of extra brutality in it for us. All right, we got a choice between a heavy crossbow and, well, I got to choose it over the rusty sword, I suppose. Rusty sword does give me better combos, but that's not what it's all about, you know? Let's get to the promenade of the condemned. How you doing? <laughs> that's an entrance. All right. I mean, I don't want to really spend cells on too many of these things. I'm almost tempted to get gold reserves three, but probably won't have that much gold for quite a while. So I tell you what, let's try to unlock fire grenades. So I got my trusty shotgun, which is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Could upgrade these sandals, but I don't feel like that's a priority right now. All right, mutation boy. Get some cooldown on grenades. I get combo, which gives me more damage after killing an enemy. I could also get Necromancy. Oh, I could also get this one, which saves you one time in the event of a premature death. Let's go for combo, I think. Let's go full brutality. I don't need that yet. All right, Promenade, we're here. We have a minute and 19 seconds, so we have, what, 41 seconds to find the time door? I think we could do that. I think we could do that. In fact, I think we've done it. Boom! Time door unlocked. What is our reward? Why, it's a bunch of junk. It's actually pretty nice. An assault shield, some gold, a scroll of ye old power, and 14 cells. That probably makes up for what we would have gotten if we had not rushed through the first area, I think. I don't know if anyone's done the math on that to see what the potentials are. In fact, it would be interesting to see the math on that, now that I think about it. Oh, nice try, boy. But you forgot this is Dead Cells, where I step on you. <laughs> How you boys, boys doing? Not gonna lie, not it. Ooh, wow! I let him hit me like it was nothing. Quite embarrassing. Sorry, right. we got combos going though. Yes, we do. We got combos going. How about you? Let's see what we got going on down here. Probably not gonna explicitly rush at this point. But we're going to try to get some gotta go fast up in here. Rub that statue a bit for luck and feel good and move on. All right. I do like the stun that comes with that. Oh, I got the little bugger. I also got the big sword bugger too. Yeah, that's right. I kicked it against the wall. What are you going to do about it? That's right. Nothing because you're going to die. Oh, Wow. I almost thought I was going to get the shot off in time. And don't forget, enemies are not 
immune to fall damage, so I uh, knock him down a cliff. Almost the same as just doing the deed yourself, you know? It's pretty nice. Plus, apparently the cells just spawn right on your person. Okay, I gotta, I gotta admit, I like kicking down the doors. Way too much fun. Let's go. Boom. Into the wall. Boom. This is the police. Please. Put your hands under the ground. Ah, now where do I go from here? Survival, I guess? Brutality and survival just seem like a good pair, I suppose. Oh, this is... No, oh, I thought this was the place where you had to jump high to get to. Oh! Gotta get that statue. Oh, yeah. That should do him. Ho, ho, ho! Nice. Getting some good combos going now. Well, that boy just had himself a freaking assassin scroll with my name on it. Because who else's name was going to be on it? Dude, this the kick is... Sorry about your door. The kick is amazing all of a sudden. Heavy crossbow three is not too bad. Extra damage against a burning target. Kick him. Hit him with the crossbow. Be a nice combo. Assassin's dagger. That does critical damage if you hit someone in the back. Victims freeze other enemies around them for 1.8 seconds. It's pretty good, too. I kind of am liking this crossbow upgrade, though. It's a DPS upgrade. And it has a nice ability to it. So, I think it's a win-win. Let's move on. Oh, oh. Greed shield. Let's see. Blocking attacks makes the enemy's teeth fall out. One per enemy. Transforms arrows into gold. Increases movement speed for five seconds after a critical hit. Sinew Slicer. Well, I don't have an extra slot here. Does extra damage on free frozen targets, which does, it means nothing to us, but still pretty nice nonetheless. Go ahead and create ourselves a vine here, and we'll get to the... Well, we're at the top now. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh! Dude, the timing on that. All right. Double crossbow matic blueprint is pretty great because I love that weapon. I keep thinking I'm not going to make that shot in time. And somehow I do. Bye. Let's go ahead and grab his uh, gold and maybe a cell if he dropped any as well. He did not drop a cell. Well then, I'll see how it is. Moving on. This is the police! Okay. Oh, I'll stop doing that now. Oiled Sword is pretty great. It basically makes enemies flammable. So, I mean, it's pretty good. I don't know about pretty great. I don't know why I thought I could jump above the dirt there. Alright, yeah, this whole kicking people off of that ledges is working out pretty well, I gotta say. So is a double shot. Nice. Get against the wall, you fool. Ah, wow, I ended up on the wrong side of history there. It's okay. Worked out okay. How you doing? Down you go. Please, meet the wall. I actually did not kick the one guy in time. That's okay. Dude, well, I can kick the balls. Oh, jeez, this game just reached a new level for me. I can kick the balls. That's amazing. What you got for me down here? You got some traps? You got some... Oh, you do got traps. All right. Okay, I'm not too worried. Anything that scares me? Doesn't scare nothing. Ooh. Of course, there's an area I can't get to. What else would be there? Things I can get to? You silly! Let me dodge traps for that. Ooh! It's all right. We're fine. We'll be okay. We'll live. We'll live, and life will be better as a result. Isn't that right? Hi. Oh, I timed the kick wrong, because I suck at this game. Alright. Kick him down. Oh, he's immune to fall damage when he's like that. You jerk. YOLO. I got a YOLO. I don't know what I got the YOLO for, but I got it. So I guess I'm not complaining. So, did I kill enough enemies to like make the combo go up or something? I don't understand. Because I had a two next to my little sword. All right, on to the next area. We could go back to the ramparts, but you know what? 
Let's go to this place I actually have never beaten before. Oh, no, we can't. Because of the rubbing statue, of course. Ugh. Okay. We gotta go up now. To the ramparts. Hey, there was an item down there. Oh. I mean, I gotta try for it, right? It's a sapphire. Sweet! I mean, I can't complain. I'm looking for electronics. Thank you. All right. Up to the ramparts. Cells are a rare and precious resource. Almost worth dying for. Almost, but not because if you die, you don't actually get them. All right. An assault shield blocks attacks while charging forward. Sounds fun. Sounds like a, just a good time. Give me the fire grenade. All right. Give me the double crossbow matic too. Shoots at two nearby enemies at the same time, doing some damage. Put the rest in the random starter bow. Let's see. Now, do I want the double crossbow matic or the sinew slicer? Well, the crossbow does more damage, but the sinew slicer does bleed. Hmm. And they both do extra damage to a frozen target. God dang it. All right. Fire grenade. Swarm of biters. You know what? I'll take that over the wolf trap. Or over the um, double crossbow. Why? Because I'm crazy. I don't think I want to upgrade anything yet. But I will go ahead and grab fireworks technician, maybe? Yeah, extra cooldown on grenades. Ooh, it's pretty. And it's a huge explosion, too. That could be a lot of fun. We'll see. All right. We're in the ramparts. Let's go. Once the poor Saad tried to escape over the ramparts, he died of exhaustion during the climb. So everyone... The guards left his body on the wall to make sure that everyone got the message, because, you know... The guards are jerks, is what the point is. Hello, I've come to make a collect call. Alright. <laughs> I smashed him into the door and killed him. Sorry, that was too much fun. I'm pretty sure this time door is seven minutes, which means I missed it. So... There you go, that worked. Well, I've definitely missed it now because I'm doinking around with these jerks. So I said doinking around, what are you going to do about it? Oh, nice try. Give me some survival. Kick you right in the rear. As it should be. Alright, well, there's more over there. Might as well find out what's, what's shaking. I don't like those little biters. They're some of the more annoying enemies that I encounter. But luckily, they are not immune to kicks. Luckily, we are doing pretty well with our combo. I think that's helping out quite a bit. Okay, there's an elite undead archer up there. And by up there, I mean down there. I can I know my directions. Burn him? Oh, jeez. I, I, I need a crossbow. Never mind. I don't need a crossbow. I just need to roll. Should have just stayed out of the way. Poison enemies that wound me. Damage for projectiles reduced by 75%. 10% reduction for general damage. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Oh, jeez. Wait. Got him. Hey. Yeah. Gotta do a flying kick every once in a while. Not just because it looks swooed, but also because it feels good. What do you got for me? A sinew slicer. Mark IV. Generates a cl toxic cloud around the trap. I mean, that's almost better than the wolf trap, but it's legendary, so it's literally no way it's better. But it might be better than the frag grenade. I think it is. Let's trade off. The fact that it drops a toxic cloud is just straight up extra damage that I'm not going to try to, de to deny. Anyway, we're definitely not getting through the time door. I don't even know where it is here. Maybe they just forgot to put one in. No, there it is. Yep. What was it? One minute, 15 seconds ago. Yep. It's okay. Not a big deal. We'll be fine. You want to go through your smelly time door anyway. You jerks. All right. This combo thing is working out very well for my uh, Spartan Sandals because it has relatively low DPS by itself. So boosting it up. Wow, that was just the stupidest play. Boosting it up by my 
by my combos here is, uh, look, look, stop, stop being bad. All right, Just give me ten minutes. I'll stop being terrible at this game, probably. Back to the top we are. What you got for me? What do I even want at this point? Because these sandals are just too much fun. Probably something to replace, as fun as it is, something to replace my crossbow. A freeze would be, of course, great. The freeze is always good. But uh, I'm thinking... Nice smash. I'm thinking that replacing the sandals is going to be inevitable. It's just not the best weapon. Oh, you dropped it over there or I kicked you off. I guess that makes sense. The sandals are not the best weapon for the long term. In fact, they're pretty garbage long term. Especially since I don't know if you didn't... I don't know if you noticed, but I don't think I can kick them into the walls in that final area. Plus, I think bigger enemies might be immune to the knockback. I could be wrong on that one. Oh, Well, that was a great use of the crossbow. This jerk kind of ruined it. Would have been better if he hadn't been a jerk with his jerkness. Oh, boy. All right. Excellent. Oh, God. You let him hit me. I can't believe it. A couple kicks in the butt here. Lots of flyers. It's okay. Just a lot of enemies that are going to die. That's all it means. Nice. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I mean, hey, if you want to come down here where I can hit you easily, I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, that's not where I can hit you easily. The poison actually took that guy out by itself. That was pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Not... Oh, wow, I literally walked into that. Not great for a long-term strategy, but pretty nice in general. Please, get kicked. What's this? Boomerang number three. I didn't even unlock the boomerang, but I got it. Returns to you automatically, inflicts critical hits on the way back. Extra damage when I'm at max health. Critical hits deal 20% extra damage. Shoots an arrow upwards. I mean, I gotta try it, right? As cool as the sandals... You know what? I can replace the crossbow with it. Yeah, let's try that out on for size. Out on for size, whatever. So as soon as it hits an enemy, it starts to come back. So that's something to keep in mind. It's actually a very important aspect of it to keep in mind. Because that means... Oh, shoot. That means I would preferably throw it at no one and have it do damage on the way back. Keep upgrading Brutality for a bit here. Try to get it at least a 10, maybe. Like that. Something like that. But yeah, I can see how I want to use this now. Tell you what, let's get some more health. While we can. I really don't need the grenade cooldown now, so that was a mistake to grab. It seems to like to do stuns as well. I appreciate... I appreciate the fact that it does stuns. So, you can kind of make it follow you around, which is interesting, because of the way that the uh, physics work for it. It's actually really cool. And I'm interested to see how far that goes. How the heck do I get the key for that? I mean, also, how do I get the item, but... Wait, there's no teleport up? up? What? Why would I want to go way back there? Not sure how I get in there, but I'm also like, I have no idea how I would get the key for that, because I don't know what kind of key it takes. So, we're just going to go back up, I guess. Alright. I either need to get grenades, or I need to refresh my mutations. Because what I got right now doesn't work that good. Ah! Thought I was going to... Oh, jeez! Mistakes were made. Almost. Oh, it disappeared eventually. Okay. Boomerang's getting more and more interesting as time goes on. But the dodge, man. The dodge makes it so good. What's over here? A shop? 
Treasure chest. Shop, it looks like. Alright. This is good. Take less damage when I'm near my crossbow o -matic. It's pretty nice. Don't need another bear trap. Slow down after thaw spreads to nearby enemies. I like that. And it's a grenade, so it gets the reduced cooldown. You know what? Let's go. Ice grenade is pretty awesome anyway. And it having, what is it, minus 59% cooldown time actually makes it where it might be useful. Who knows? Find out next time. And by that, I mean hopefully soon. Oh, jeez, I thought I was going to get him. That's okay. Ahoy! How's it going? Oh, my goodness. It's nuts, man! It's actually nuts. If it does that against bosses, too, I'm going to flip. Hi. Hope you don't mind the, uh, the jump kick there. It's pretty great. Oh, wait. Something over here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A duplex bow. I mean... Dude, the boomerang does 1,200 DPS on the way back. Sorry, duplex bow. I like you conceptually, but uh, maybe if you were legendary, you'd be worth it. Better not let that squish me. All right. To the black bridge to take on the concierge. Should be good. Well, well, well. What have we here? Yeah, we'll just throw this all in the random starter bow. Why not? All right. I don't really want to upgrade this because it's pretty powerful as it is. I kind of want to upgrade the Spartan Sandals now. So let's do that. Victim's Remains Explode. You know what? I can rock that. And we're not going to reforge this either, I don't think. Hello. How you doing? I kind of want to throw... I kind of want to throw efficiency down for the trap. Dead inside would be all right. If I doubled the ammo for the boomerang, would I get to throw two of them? Because if so, that sounds a little nuts. Let's get dead inside. Let's get a little bit of health. Play it a little bit safe here. Then we'll see if we can rock the concierge's world. Getting past the prison walls was a major achievement. Crossing the bridge was nothing short of a miracle. Well, let's get miraculous, buddy. How you going? Concierge, my friend. Oh, yeah. So it does eventually just stop. Freeze him. But, oh my lord, the things that it can do. Oh, jeez, the places you'll go. Oh, jeez. That was some dumb damage. Trap him. Nope, threw it the wrong way. I mean, it, like, rewards me just for dodging him. Then I can throw down more traps. It's the perfect freaking game, man. It's such bull. Throw it over his head. Ah, I took some dumb damage there. Yeah, get that freeze. All right, trap. Wait for me. Oh, geez. Wait for mistakes to be made. Turns out I was the one making them. Wait for me to make more mistakes. I gotta play dumb. Ah, I played way too dumb. Played too dumb. Too dumb. Bye. Oh, my lord. This boomerang. Impaler. Cool. Is that a shovel? That is a shovel. Knocks back enemies and bombs. Okay. Increases movement speed after killing an enemy. Made a toxic cloud. Shoots an arrow upwards. All right, shovel and a boomerang. This is what we're rocking now. Hope you're cool with it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Let's head to Stilt Village. Okay, do I want to throw more money 
th throw more. Yeah, let's do it. Eventually, we'll get something good out of that. We'd made it here two minutes faster. Ah, well. Hi, I got nothing for you. Sorry. All right. On to Stilt Village, where hopefully I can learn how to stop rubbing at statues. Fishing was the main activity in this little hamlet until the water started turning murky and dark. All right. Let's go. Knocks back both enemies and bombs. I mean, enemies is pretty obvious. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, God. This is good. Please, come at me, bro. Uh, come at me better. There we go. Yes. 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 Oh! So, alright, yeah, I need to come here 39 seconds ago. I'm sad on the inside. Yeah, down you go. Alright. Does minor knockback on those guys, probably because of how tough they are, but that's okay. Still does plenty of damage. Yeah, we can continue to get brutal. Toxic Cloud's really good too, man. Oh, that final hit. Dude, who would have thought the shovel would be like the weapon of mass? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Mistakes were made. All right. Let's try this again. This is not... That's not a bridge area. Look, I'm not saying I'm a professional. Okay. Look, boomerang. We gotta work together here. Alright. That's more like it. Alright, he can teleport now. Use that to our advantage. Booyah. Golden amulet versus sapphire amulet. Same amount of damage, protection, both poison, both... It's the same freaking thing. Alright. Let's get the key. Move on. Oh! Feeling a little little tough right now. Granted, I did goof up that boss fight a lot, so don't don't get it twisted. I'm not saying I'm invincible. I'm just saying I got a lot of power right now, and it's feeling a little overwhelming. Beautiful. Okay. Where do we go from here? To this treasure. Alright, a sinew slicer. Mark five. Burns enemies and does extra damage to a frozen target. I mean, it, well, the wolf trap wasn't so good. Don't get me wrong. I am tempted. They tempted me beautifully. I almost couldn't resist. But I gotta go with more legendaries, right? I'm one legendary away from a full legendary kit. At which point, I'm pretty sure the game just lets me win, right? Oh. Ah! I... He caught me good. Didn't see him coming. Right out of the blue. Treasure, huh? Probably a cursed treasure. If I already guess. Beautiful. And called that. Don't need that. Bye. Okay. Beautiful. Nothing I want here. The zombies are not too scary if I can get them before they actually can start any attacks. Which, considering how slowly they attack, it's not a problem. Food. Nah. I haven't used any of my potions yet. And while I do have 13,000 gold, I don't think I need to spend any of it on food. Wow, you were tough as nails there, buddy. Dude, the toxic cloud is so good. That's what's making this shovel so amazing. It basically... Oh, jeez, it defends me very hard. Beautiful. And by very hard, I mean very well. Come on, that up! One more. Ah, come on. Nyeh. Wait. <laughs> oh. It's good. 
and a good time was oh hey give me that a good time was had by all one might even say got ourselves another key here trying to hide out of my way huh oh my goodness why is the shovel so good I mean, it hits behind me on the third strike. It's so good. This game has gotten a lot of, like, really weird but awesome improvements to it. Thank you for the croissant. Stay away from me. Out of my house, sirs. Looks like that'll lead to the next area here. But I don't have a thing for the statue yet. Oh, I I just remember where I have to go for the statue, and I went completely the wrong way. So we can't get it in this run. And I don't know how my brain did not let me remember. But I have to take a different path at the prisoner's quarters in order to get to the statue. So we can't get it this run. The statue teleporter, that is. Not to worry, though. Because we're still in a good spot for this particular run, from what I can see. I am just made a couple of little errors here and there. Particularly in regards to remembering how this game works. But who doesn't do that every once in a while, you know? Alright. I gotta remember to use that ice grenade more. It's actually amazing. Oh, an electric whip. I mean, I like it. I like it a lot. I could go double grenade. It does a lot more damage than the ice grenade. Double damage to a burning target, too. But I think I'm just going to grab it to sell it. Ice grenade is better. Ice grenade is bay. All right. How you doing? Excellent. At wow, the knockback on that third hit. I didn't realize it was that strong. Oh, wow. They got me. He got me good. He got me like no man should. All right. Off we go to the next area. And look, we're back at the clock tower. Starting to see a starting to see a pattern here when it comes to these videos. Because believe it or not, I am out of time. I kind of want to shove this all into the Impaler, but at the same time, now we can start with a better bow. Assuming I have any unlocked. I think I do. <laughs> and then we can start... I don't know. We'll unlock the Ice Shard next. Why not? Okay. I cannot believe this shovel is so good. Oh my goodness. It's ridiculously good. I could make it a plus, couldn't I? Problem is, if I do that... Oh, no, I can't make it a plus. Legendary uh, apparently supersedes plus. I don't really want to change the Toxic Cloud or anything. The Boomerang, I could see myself switching out. But against bosses, it might be too good. We'll find out. But we'll find out next time here on That Plays Dead Cells. If you enjoyed it so far, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. I don't think I'd still be, you know... Rocking through to the clock tower again. But we'll see how well we could do with our boomerang and our freaking shovel next time. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Dead Cells. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video.